So we're going to diagonalize A. So we've already worked out the eigenvalues, and we worked out the two eigenvectors that are here. Now we have a formula to diagonalize A, which is D, the diagonalization of A, is P to the power of negative 1, A times P. And we have two different vectors for P. The first one we're going to deal with is x1, x2. And that's going to give me 3, negative 1, 1, negative 3. And I'm going to go through this first one, and then you can do the second one. So what's happening is, is I need p to the negative 1. So here I've got p, and I find the determinant, and then swap a and d and swap the signs of a and b. So I have the inverse of p1 to the negative 1, and you can check that one yourselves. So then I'm going to do p to the negative 1 times a times p, which is this part in here. So it's just written out exactly like I wanted it. I'm going to do these two times this, which gives me that 9 over 8. because so I've got 12, take away 3, give me 9 over 8. I've got 3 times 3, which is 9, take away 6. I've got minus 4 and plus 9, which gives me the minus 5 over 8. And here I've got 15 over 8. Again, if you want to take your time, check out that, day, that matrix multiplication or even do it on a calculator. So that's p to the minus 1 times a. And now I'm going to take that new vector, uh, matrix rather, and times it by the a, sorry, the p up here. So I've got this one times this one. And I take away 3 over 8, giving me 8 over 8. 24 over 8, rather, which is 3. And then I've got this one times this one, 9, take away 9 over 8, disappears to give me 0. And this times this, 15. And let's just double check that value in there. What have we got here? This is going to give me 15, yep, minus 45. Uh, zero and then this one gives me five and negative 45 give me the 40 over eight my mental arithmetic just leave leave me there so i get minus five so that's our final diagonalization but we have another one which is p2 so we're going to do the whole process again with p2 and p2 we still have an x1 x2 it could be x1 sorry x2 x1 so that gives me 1 minus 3, 3 minus 1. So if you do this whole process again and you pause the video, so you then, just to go through it again, you find the inverse of this, you times the inverse by A and then times it by this point here, you will have the second value. So if you pause it and try that now, and the second value you should end up with is minus 5, 0, 0, and 3.